Yo, yo, in this video, we'll be going over some money methods that all together can make you up to $450,000 in GTA Online. So the money methods that we're going over in this video are time trials. Now, time trials are sort of like mini races where you have to get from one point to another within a certain amount of time. If you get there within that set amount of time, you'll make anywhere from $100,000 to $250,000, depending on which time trial it is. There are three of them within GTA Online and the location of each one changes every Thursday as part of the weekly update, so keep that in mind. Starting off with our first one, this is the standard time trial. When looking for it on your map, you'll want to look for this icon right here. Now this is going to be a great money method for beginners as you can use pretty much any vehicle for it as long as it isn't any special or weaponized ones. We'll go over which vehicles I recommend using in just a bit but first let me show you guys how to start and complete one. So once you arrive at the time trial just press right on your d-pad to start it up. Then once you do immediately open up your map and look for this destination which is going to be a yellow dot. Waypoint it and then back out from the map. Now open up your phone and quit the time trial. Now I normally just go up then back up little by little until I see that startup little thingy right here in the top left pop up again. Great explanation dumbass. <laughs> Basically, just get as close to the edge of the time trial as possible while it still lets you start it. And once you see it, just start it up and complete the time trial. Now, for someone like me who's been playing GTA Online for years now, this will only take you like one or two attempts before you beat the part time, depending on which one it is. But if you're new, it may take you a few more tries, which is totally fine. If you're struggling with a certain time trial, just search up the name of the time trial on YouTube, and there's a bunch of other creators making guides on them weekly, so there you go. But once you do finally manage to beat it, you'll make right around $100,000. Sometimes it'll pay out $101,000, sometimes $102,000, but it'll always be right around $100,000 thousand dollars and unfortunately no you cannot repeat these well you can but you're only going to make that 100k once as like a first time bonus after that first dub any more attempts will only make you like a couple thousand dollars so yeah not exactly worth it but now what vehicles should you use for this if you're a beginner i'm going to recommend the batty 801 or the batty 801 rr off of southern san andreas as it only costs you fifteen thousand dollars for being so cheap this is a really good bike especially once you upgrade it it's got some of the best handling on a bike within all of gta online like it wheelies hella good not as good as the acid lab delivery bike but pretty damn good and since you got to go off-road for a lot of these time trials, you're in luck because this handles off-roading like a champ. The Batty 801 is like some chicken tendies, man. You just cannot go wrong with it. Basically all reliable. But for real, for real, this is one of the best bang for your buck vehicles within all of GTA Online, so I highly recommend it. If you've got a little more money to play around with, I'm going to recommend the Western Power Surge. You can pick this bad boy up on Legendary Motorsports for about $1.6 million. Now, this bike also has some pretty good handling. I don't think it's as good as the Batty 801, but pretty solid to get you around with and maneuver. It's also pretty solid when going off-roading, which is going to come in clutch for these time trials. And this bike is an electric vehicle meaning that the acceleration on this thing is absolutely insane. Like it takes off hella quick. But the main reason why I'm recommending this bike is that it's one of the fastest ones within GTA Online. It maxes out at around 145 miles per hour. So that with the other things I mentioned makes this a solid choice for time trials. One more bike recommendation I have is the Akuchi Drag. Yes, you heard me right. But since this is an HSW vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this one later on when we go over the HSW time trial. As you guys can see from this list, I only mentioned motorcycles here and that's for a reason. I feel much more comfortable using a motorcycle as opposed to a car for these as you're less likely to crash. A motorcycle is obviously not as wide as a car is, so it makes it a lot easier for maneuvering in between other NPC cars in the way. And I prefer them more for off-roading as they just zoom through hills. And pro tip, make sure you're holding the left stick back while you're driving a motorcycle as it's going to make you go much faster. For our next time trial, we're going over the RC Bandito time trial. You're going to want to look for this icon on your map right here when looking for it. Now, in order to be able to do these RC Bandito time trials, you're going to need to own two things beforehand. The main thing, of course, is an RC Bandito itself, which is going to cost you just under $1.6 million. And in order to own an RC Bandito, you're going to need to own this piece of shit property property right here, which is the Arena World Workshop. You can get the cheapest one for just under a million dollars. Now, if you're just a casual player and don't really play the game like that, then I wouldn't recommend investing $2.6 million into this. I mean, over time, you are going to make that money back, but it'll be months, so it's entirely up to you. Anyway, in order to start this up, you're going to walk right into the time trial on foot and press right on the D-pad. Pretty simple. Now, as for any tips I have, you shouldn't be going full speed unless you're driving in a straight line. And also, don't use the brakes for every turn you do. I feel like it just slows you down even more. What I normally do on a turn is just take my finger off the right trigger right before I'm going to turn and then just let it cruise into that turn. The biggest tip though, like with all of these time trials in general, is really just to practice. If you're new to doing these, I'm going to guarantee that it'll take you a couple tries before you can manage to beat the part time. But as you keep repeating it, you'll learn when and how to turn, when to break, and how to go about the time trial in general until you finally beat it. Once you do beat it, you'll be making another $100,000 or so, just like the standard time trial. The third and final time trial is the HSW time trial. When looking through your map, you're going to want to look for this icon right here. Now, as much as I love this one, the only downside to it is that it's only available on the expanded and enhanced versions of GTA Online on the Xbox Series X and PS. PS5. So if you're playing on an Xbox One, PS4, or PC, you won't be able to do this time trial, unfortunately. Before you can start up this time trial, you're going to need to head over to the LS Car Meet and make sure you get a membership for $50,000. Now, this HSW time trial is pretty similar to the standard time trial, with the only major difference being that you can only use an HSW vehicle. If you have no idea what an HSW vehicle is, it's a class of vehicles in GTA Online that you can upgrade and make faster than most other cars within the game. I'll recommend some vehicles for you in just a second, but first, let's go over the actual time trial itself. So you're going to start up the HSW time trial the same way as with the standard time 
time trial. Once you're at the time trial, start it up and open your map, set a waypoint on the destination and then back out of your map. Then open up your phone and quit the time trial. Then just position yourself in the direction of the destination and go for it. Now for anyone who struggle with the standard time trial, the HSW time trials are honestly really easy to complete. I rarely ever miss the part time on these as you get a pretty good amount of time for them. And as I said, the HSW vehicles are hella fast. Anyway, once you complete the HSW time trial, you're going to make right around $250,000. That's more than double what you make for the other two time trials. And it's the easiest one to complete. So that's dope. And just like with the standard time trial and RC Bandito time trial, it's going to be right around $250,000, meaning that one week it may pay out $251,000. Then maybe the week after it'll pay $252,000. But just know that you're making right around that 250k every single week from these. Now, as for vehicle recommendations, this one's pretty simple. As I mentioned earlier for the standard time trial, I prefer bikes all day, every day, and that applies here as well. Hands down, the best vehicle for these has got to be the HSW upgraded Hakuchi Drag. This is one of the fastest HSW vehicles within GTA Online and the only HSW motorcycle, so this is an easy call for sure. Now, you can pick one up off of Legendary Motorsports for $976,000, and when you take it into house to upgrade it to its HSW variant, that'll cost you $1.4 million. But the first time you upgrade a vehicle to its HSW variant, it's going to be 110% free of charge. All you need to do is go to this location on your map and complete house time trial. The handling on this car is absolute ass, but you're given like eight minutes to beat it, so it's definitely doable. Anyways, once you complete that, you'll be able to take in a vehicle and upgrade it to its HSW variant for free. So if you haven't gotten an HSW vehicle yet, you should definitely take advantage of this deal and make the Hakuchi drag your very first one. This bike excels in straightaways, especially when you lean your left stick back and it has some really good braking for when you need to slow down on turns. So trust me when I tell you that you will not regret buying this vehicle. And again, these HSW time trials are super easy to complete, so don't trip if you fall off your bike once or twice, you should still be able to complete this with time to spare. Now just to recap what we discussed in this video, we went over the standard time trial that can make you $100,000, we then went over the RC Bandito time trial that can make you another $100,000, and if you're on a next gen console, the HSW time trial can make you $250k, coming out to a grand total of $450,000. The best part about these time trials is that they reset every Thursday, meaning that you can come back and do them to make that $450k every single week. Now, while these time trials we just went over are a solid way to make some quick cash, you might need some money to get started with them. Luckily for you, I've got a video on how you can make over $1.1 million. And the best part is that you can be a level one with no businesses or money yet and complete this money method right away. If that sounds interesting, then you'll definitely want to click on the video on screen right now.